What's up, fam? Welcome back to the CEO Pulse Podcast with another episode of your Mindset Mondays and my co-host, Justin Thorstad. What's up, brother? <sighs> we, we need sound effects, bro. We absolutely need sound effects. Well, I'm sure you're going to make that happen. Yeah. Um, today, we're going to talk about uh, something very important. This is actually uh, Justin's idea, right? But I think you're, you're, you're on the money. Your health is your true wealth. That's the topic for today. How many times have you seen it where you have somebody who's uber successful, doing everything, you know, the, the money's rolling in, the success is, you know, evident and whatnot, uh, yet the health uh, portion of it is, is in the, you know, in shambles. Yeah. Um, it, well, that, that was me seven years ago. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, success in business. Yeah, I remember, you, man. Yeah. Like you, honestly, bro, you were half the man, or you are half the man you used to be. Yeah, in a physical way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? And But it's so true because if you think about it, I don't care what your vision is, what right. you're passionate about. If you don't got energy to get out of bed and show up and execute right. moment by moment for a whole day, every day, like what's going to get done? Right. Well, I mean, that's that's one. Energy is 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 key, right? Yeah. Sometimes, even if you don't have the talent, but if you have the energy, you're gonna find a way to figure it out. Your drive is there. You're attracting your magnetism to to situations, solutions, and resources is there. Uh, however, if that's off, everything else is off. Totally. Well, and as I said earlier, you know, it's, execution takes energy, mm -hmm. right? And. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna dive kind of deep in this, I'm sure, but I'm not talking about just physical health, although right. that, I think that's super important. But what about your mental clarity? What yeah. about your mental health? You know, what I mean, what are you putting in there? Whether it's alcohol, drugs, stimulants, a whole variety of things. Yep. Like so, if you've got energy, but you're rolling out of bed and you're foggy and you can't think straight and you can't formulate thoughts and you can't see the big picture. Like, what use are you going to be to yourself and to everybody else around you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, distractions and all that stuff. Um, there's some, um, Tony Robbins is really big on this, right? Your biology <clears throat> and, and how we react uh, emotionally triggered by the biological, you know, the effect that's going on. Um, so... It doesn't matter how many books you read, how much you meditate, how if your vehicle is not you know up to par, if it's not operational, uh, you're not going to be able to do things right. Like it really comes down to that. Uh, it kills me to see uh, again people who are going after it, after it, after it, and then just leaving their their health uh, on on the margins. It's it's and I'm talking both physical health and 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 mindset, right? Mental health. Uh, and I'm not saying, you know, go out there and then win a competition. It, it's not about that, but it's it's about having a, a, the awareness or a degree of counterbalance uh, between, okay, going at it all the time, 24-7, and then prioritizing yourself, your vehicle, right, your body. It's, this is, that's what it is. It's a vehicle. Yeah. You can, you know, drive a Lambo or a, you know, Datsun or, you know. Yeah. You well, know. <laughs> regardless of what, what you're driving, you got to yeah. be firing on all cylinders, yeah. right? Like, I just know for me, speaking from my, my own experience, like, I developed a, a really successful business as a, a solo agent. And, <clears throat> however, my drive to always be in action, mm -hmm. like, it was because I didn't feel like I was worthy, deserving, enough, significant, valid in this world. And so I would always push and push and push to do more and more business because I thought, hey, once I hit this many sales, once I get that award, then I'm going to be somebody. And so really I was putting the external success as the priority instead right. of myself. And I paid massive prices for that. <clears throat> like it took a lot to make it through the day. And making that 180 shift now to be like, no, I'm the most important thing in my universe really right, because right. i'm the center of everything i'm the one that gets to decide all of these decisions i'm the one that determines my results all of it i create my own economy and so yeah about how what are people's intentions about taking care of self first right and creating time and space for that and determining what do i put in my body what do i no longer put in my body what actually gives me energy versus what depletes me and that's a whole couple hour conversation yeah. in and of itself right but <clears throat> not only again physically but mentally you know what i mean like we're going to be living longer and longer there's yeah. no doubt about that you know i wouldn't be surprised if the average age by the time we get there is 120 yeah. you know what I mean? and someday i'm sure it'll be 150 yet i don't care if your body makes it 150 years if your brain's mush what good yeah. are you you know what I mean? Yep. So it's about taking care of both the body and the mind. Yeah. So, so what do you do to keep, I mean, to keep that in check, right? We live busy lives. And then this is the one I get all the time. 
<clears throat> I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have to work out. I don't have time for myself. And I don't have time to meal prep. Exactly. Going back to the uh, to uh, to what you mentioned a little earlier, it, it's you are the center of the universe, and that's absolutely right. You, like we are the center of our own universe, and and, and being selfish. Um, it's one of the most unselfish things that we can do, I think. And then yeah. wor- bear with me here, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It, it's uh, when I say that is if you have your priori- priority priorities straight, um, and um, and you know what matters to you, right? And you're in a place where you can actually take care of you know those priorities. They're gonna be you know they're gonna be good, right? So, but you can't do that if you're not selfish. If you don't put yourself um, in in a good space first, and that's where being selfish comes in, right? Totally. Uh, in both on a mindset level, a, a physical level, and whatnot. Carve out the time to you know put in you know the work. Go for a walk. It doesn't have to be a big massive gym workout or whatever. Just totally. keep some uh, flow going. Uh, Matthew McConaughey had, has this thing where he's just like, all I do is sweat. As long as I sweat once a day, I'm good. Um, and you know, stuff like that. Right. But, but it really, I mean, it tees up one, um, from decompression from Mm -hmm. just being, you know, in it, in it, in it every single moment of the day. Right. I mean, some of the best ideas and, 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 and really moments of critical thinking happen when you're doing, you know, non brainy activities like for example a workout (laughs) well think about it if you think of athletes for as an example when they're training when they're at their their event and it's game time and they're just go 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 yeah um but specifically with with training like when do you actually build muscle yeah during rest and recovery right right you know what i mean so like rest and recovery has got to be an integral part of your overall intention right and and i'll just say for myself like when i was go 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 in business before my personal development journey I was working so much and doing so many appointments every single day that I didn't have time to eat. I didn't have time to exercise. And so what I would do is I would react eat. You know, I'm way past my normal time that I would eat lunch, so I'm kind of fading, don't have a mental clarity. And so just grab whatever I can eat and stuff it in so that I can keep going. And... That was clearly ineffective based on my results of weighing 63 pounds more and not having a lot of mental clarity. And it it also (laughs) supported and fed that mindset of hustle and grind. If I want more, I got to do more. And that was the worst way to go about it. And, you know, it's funny, too, because like at Libertas and the brokerage, the, the vast majority of the agent population is actually women. And so we talked about being selfish with yourself. Like this is a really big thing, especially for the women entrepreneurs out there, is the ones that are specifically moms and wives, is they think that, well, if I go take care of me, if I take time on the weekend, if I take time during the, my day or evening on the weekdays, then that means I'm not giving to my children. I'm not giving to my husband. I'm not pr- like being productive for my family. And so they feel very selfish for doing that. And I say, if you're not taking care of yourself, yeah. that's selfish. Because think about it. If you're not taking care of you, yeah. what version of you is showing up to your kids? Exactly. What version of you is showing up to your family, right? So to take care of yourself and to put you as a priority is actually selfless. Because yeah. that way you can bring forth the biggest and best version of yourself to the party. Because that's truly what matters. It's not how hard you work. It's not how much you can get done. Yeah. It's how what's your state of being while you're showing up to that action piece. Yeah, 100%, man. 100% agree. Um, so what do you do to keep up? Uh, for example, I have I, I know what I do throughout the day. I can actually uh, because I've made it a, a I made an awareness out of it, right? I know when my my energy is going to be low. I kind of know what I have to eat to kind of bring it back up. And you start kind of dialing and playing with with your your vehicle, right? With your body, with your mindset. Um, I know what to do. For example, if my if I'm feeling in the gutter, if I'm having like a a, a day where I'm just feeling you know a bit you know pessimist uh you know going through it in a, in a bad way i know what i gotta do just gonna bounce back that's part of of uh, mental health uh physical totally. health i know like if i eat some if i ate something yesterday i know how i'm gonna be feeling today it's just, like it's it's part yeah. of it once you start playing with it um point i'm trying to make is like i i know how to just kind of feather the en- uh, the energy throttle the energy like throughout the day and whatnot what do you do to manage that stuff, and I'll go. I'll talk about yeah. what I do. Well, bit. first and foremost, for me, it's it's that morning <coughs> ritual, right? It's how yeah. do I prime my state? So that is gratitude, getting in a state of ultimate uh, receivership and yeah. thanks for all the things that are currently here and are not here, but grateful as if they are, right? The meditation piece. Let me quiet my mind and body. Let me get my nervous system to come into a balance and come into order, right? Um, and then movement. Every single morning, movement. For example. Um, I was on vacation at that uh, real estate and crypto conference, right? Like, all hotels have gyms. And if they don't, 
there's a floor in your room. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it doesn't matter what you do because that's the next question people ask is like, okay, so if I want to go do some movement, because I don't like calling it working out. I don't just <clears> – <throat> Raphael's a little different based on results. <clears throat> However, for me, going to the gym <laughs> and just like grinding it and, and pumping some heavy stuff, like I feel – Gains, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly. And, and who wouldn't want to look like that? But for me, like, I feel nauseous, fatigued, and it depletes me. Right. I'm not saying there wouldn't be a rebound there. But for me, it's very simple. I usually do at least 7 to 12 minutes of movement in my garage. I've got a full set of weights in there. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. I'm just getting my blood pumping. You've been doing that for years, too. 7 yeah. to 12 minutes. That's I have it. I have no idea why the fuck it's 7 to 12 minutes. In my head, it doesn't make sense. Because by then, I'm tired. That, that's like the, that's <laughs> like the, the warm-up, right, for me. But right, it, it works. We have two very different ways of, of staying um, physically aware of, of yeah. where we have to be, right, to keep our energy levels up, which is very interesting. And, and I want to I wanna dive a little deeper into that because it's, it's, it's really opposites, right? I, you know, for example, I go to the gym and I go, I, I work out, I go heavy, I start lifting and I, you know, I get competitive and it's just my decompression yeah, space. Totally. For you, it's, it's, uh, it's maintenance, yet the, uh, the value on the other side is it's still, you know, it's still the same. We're accomplishing the same things. Yeah. And so what I love about that dichotomy between the two of us is <clears throat> that we get to communicate to the audience is yeah. it doesn't matter what you're doing. It's why are you doing it? Right. right? And so I, I love my analogy, though, of 7 to 12 minutes because it's like now the bullshit excuses of I don't have time or off the damn yeah. table. You can't tell me you don't have 7 to 12 minutes. You spend more time than that scrolling on Facebook and Instagram while you're on the toilet. Yeah. Why don't you just do your business, get off and go? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everyone's got an extra 15 minutes a day. Yeah. So people say, I don't have time to drive to the gym and work out for an hour and drive back and get ready. Fine, don't do that. But if that is your jam, there's nothing wrong with that either. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Like Every body, physical body, is different. Find what works for you. But there's no excuse not to invest in yourself. For me, it's first thing in the morning because that's how I'm priming my state so I can show up to my day. Yeah. And so, so after the movement, um, you know, I do the ice bath. That's just a way to bring it all together for me to sit in my seat of consciousness, notice the mind and body stressed and yeah. anxious and remaining calm in that storm and breathing it out and restoring order to my body. But then the other thing is, man, I have a really healthy shake in the morning. And then like Sundays, I meal prep. Yeah. So I create, I look <clears throat> at my schedule for the week and I set an intention. Okay, what are my appointments? Lunch is always a given. I want to meal prep that. And then I even meal prep some of my dinners depending upon what my schedule is. Mm. So I put food in front of me. And that's really super important, I think, for everyone to understand is that, especially if you're super busy, yeah. like most people react to eat. I'll eat whatever I can eat whenever I can, right? Because my schedule is dictating my circumstances, condition, environment. That's a very victim mentality. Yeah. Whereas I dictate my situations, my circumstances, my environment. So I create the food, this food that I want that's high vibrational. I put it in front of me so I can control what I eat, how much I eat, and when I eat it. What do you mean high vibrational? For those who don't practice plants, um, yogi, veggies, man, like think about it. If you take beef, for example, and don't get all up in arms, just hear me out. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go there? Bro? Yeah, I do. I do. And sure? I love steak. I'm a, don't I'm a, taco, no, no, no. I'm a taco connoisseur. I, I know you are. So Raph has like three lunches, right? <laughs> and two breakfasts. And so they're all meat. Dinners. And they're all meat. He has meat with a side of meat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm judging. And I'm so envious. I know it's just a statement. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but if you think about it, here's an animal. It's being led to slaughter, stressed out, pumped full of hormones, then dies. And all of those hormones, neuropeptides, endorphins are swimming through its body. Boom, killed, cut it up, eat it. You're eating dead, decaying matter, right? And now that's sitting in your gut. It takes time. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. When I go out to, for a nice dinner, I want a beautiful, soft, tender filet mignon, okay? So I'm not saying don't eat meat. I'm just saying... How much of it do you eat and how often do you eat it? it? I'm not saying don't eat meat. You know what I mean? Like my meal prep this week was ground turkey as the, as the protein. You know Savage. what I mean? However, you can get protein in a lot of other ways too. Black beans, lentils. Uh, there's all kinds of th things. There's tofu. I mean, take your pick. I got a buddy, uh, Ryan Nelson. You can find him on Instagram. This man is a bodybuilder and he's massive, 100% vegan. Not vegetarian, vegan. Check him out, Ryan Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N. -E and he's here in Tempe. Uh, actually, one of my agents helped him uh, with the lease for his gym. Um, and he produces champions, man. And it's all about not just the working out, but what are you putting into your body? Yeah. What is that source of nutrition, <coughs> the sustenance? 
Yeah, I think. Well, and this is my my take on that. I tried. Uh, I tried to to just. You know, I've tried diets and I've tried a couple of different things. And I think this is a, you know, this is one place where a lot of people fall off the wagon. Like, well, no, I got to make it intensive. I got to make it, uh, you know, I can't eat, you know, I can't, I, I got to suffer, you know, with the stuff that I eat. You know, it's almost becoming, oh, you know, to, to that degree, right? Glorify it's, the struggle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, it's a lifestyle. You, if you build a lifestyle after it and, and you don't abuse it, right? Uh, like you're gonna be okay if you don't starve yourself to death. You're gonna have energy if you you know have a decent balance. You understand what you know what the amount of protein to have a day. It's you know for your for your for yourself. You know should be. You take that and then uh, you know calories and whatnot. So it, it just becomes easier if you put a little bit of effort and study. The same way that we study, um, I don't know, whatever somebody else is doing on social media, right? Just take that energy and apply it into understanding how your body works a little bit, how you are in, you know at an individual level process you know foods and how you feel just make a note i mean when you're when you're eating if you have a big fat meal um one thing that for example hispanic culture we're like we will not get off the table until our belly just like yeah yeah Yeah, it's like are you the question is every grandma's table mixing problems hashtag um (laughs) is is are you full are you full are you full? That's like whenever you go to anybody. Did you get enough to eat? Yeah. yeah. Are you full? Like, no, no, I'm not full. I'm okay. You're not full. You need another taco. Yeah. Like, yeah it's, same it's, thing with Italians. You Mexicans and Italians, man. Yeah. I'm, just I'm, overeating. I am telling you. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing. It is. But, uh, but no, so, so I mean, just understanding, right, for that, you know, and doing, you know, tweaks and, and things, little, little things here and there, you know, go a long way. Um, I'll give you like a couple of pointers on the stuff that I do if I know I'm going to pig out, for example, right? Um, if you put me in front of a grill and there's tacos, like, dude. Game over. It, it, game over. Yeah. Right. So what do I do? I'll down like a cup of water before I start like <laughs> just stuffing my face with tacos. So full of shit i've seen this man at barbecues <clears throat> but but th- no. then i can only eat eight as opposed to 12. <laughs> exactly yeah yeah <laughs> well anyways so, so like that's one of the things right but i understand how that like that that comes into play now one thing that i did for years and right now i'm doing it because i'm doing something different with my body right now it's just i'm bulking because i want to compete uh so my way of eating is different i had to double the the amount of food that i'm you know that i'm eating you uh, double how much you eat yeah is that humanly possible yes it, I was so judged. I think this. I think this was a bad topic. <laughs> so no, but for years I was doing I- intermittent fasting, yeah. right? Uh, yep. And then uh, intermittent fasting. It's if you. This just makes sense. Uh, if you give your body enough time to process the food that you're consuming, like you should be okay, right? So I I, I would eat on an eight hour block. Just anything that I was going to eat throughout the day would happen between those eight hours. There's yeah. only so much food that you can stuff in your face during an eight, sure. an eight hour period, right? If you seem to pull it off. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. But besides the point, it's, um, uh, and then you have 16 hours to just, you know, recover, process, drink fluids, you know, stay hydrated and that mm-hmm. sort of thing. I walk around with a, uh, with a gallon of water just everywhere, just, mm-hmm. you know, doing that kind of stuff. Again, the, um, the drag that we get at 3 p.m., 2 p.m., where we're feeling like, oh man, uh, yeah, a lot of times it's, it's lack of motivation, lack of, of a purpose, and you know that can play into it. Yeah. But biology is, is like goes hand in hand with it, right? If your biology is you know good, if your body is responding, you're not you know stuffing the um, the uh, think of, think of your body as a shredder, for example, a digestive system. Think of it as a shredder, one of those paper shredders. Mm-hmm. If you take you know thirty pieces of paper and, and then just jam them in there, like it's gonna, <laughs> you know, it, it'll do that, right? Yeah, stress. Yeah, exactly, and it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, however, if you take one or two, and then it, I mean, it'll just you know go efficient. through those things. It becomes efficient, right? Yeah. It's the same thing with your digestive system. A- anytime you don't eat, and then you eat once a day, and it's this big fucking meal where you're having two cows and, and a <laughs> pork chop. Um, it, it's it, you're gonna you're gonna it's overloaded. Yeah, yeah. you overload it. So from from a a, um, a mechanical standpoint, your body's doing too much in a very small amount of time. Yeah. Uh, it stores as fat, and then your energy drops. It's sucking away energy from you know your your thinking. That's why we get sleepy. It's your parasympathetic system. We get sleepy yeah. after we eat. Why? Because it's taking energy to process all that stuff. You know all that food. So if you just kind of you know break it down throughout the day and work around it, and just become aware that. Whatever you're putting into your body, the way that you're um, burning calories, if you're staying active, if you're staying flexible, uh, you know, things like that, they literally, uh, I mean, spill over to your productivity and Absolutely. your clearness. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. 
it's well, and, you know, so you know, part of my weight release journey was taking your advice on the intermittent fasting, doing that sixteen eight, and I will tell you, my mental clarity shot through the roof. I'm telling you, because it's weird. when my body wasn't processing food, it was <clears> present, <throat> alert, like, and my not only my mental clarity, but my energy just yeah. just exploded. I don't currently do it now, but on occasion, I'll do ninety day blocks of it. Yeah, and I, I think what I I really want to communicate to everybody is. There is no, like, the way to be successful at this. And what I respect so much about you, Raph, is that, and you've said it already three times in this, this episode, is that, you know, you're like a mad scientist. You pay attention and focus on you and what you're doing and how it affects you and then make little tiny adjustments or tweaks to test and sample out different things, different foods, different processes to find what works. Because yeah. what works for you may be completely different from somebody else and from somebody else may be completely different than mine. It's like there is no the way. They're all just a way. Right. And so if you pay attention to you, which I don't know what the hell else you'd be paying attention to, that's more important yeah. to your health, your mental clarity, your energy, your <clears> vitality, <throat> man, who you bring into the party moment by moment every single day. How are you showing up? Yeah. yeah. And and so when you get this machine, because that's what it is, your mind and body are, are tools. They're instruments of your consciousness. Yeah. You're not your mind. You're not your body. Right? So as yeah. you can make adjustments and take coaching, find things that work for other people. But yeah. just know that it's not the way. It's a way. Right. Implement it. And then the key is, and I know you can attest to this, you got to be fucking consistent, <sighs> consistent to see how that affects your body yeah. and then introduce one thing or make this tweak and see what effect that has. So, yes, this process takes time. But in our society, you know, <clears throat> it's that instant gratification type, you know, just give me a damn pill or give me the way. It's like, no, no it doesn't. Nothing works that way. Business yeah. doesn't work that way. Our bodies don't work that way. Like you gotta be patient and consistent. Yeah, it's constant. You get work. it dialed in. Yeah. yeah, and even you know when you get it dialed in, if you take a couple of weeks off or whatever, it's gonna get undialed. Yeah. you have to come back and then. But oh, but I, I but, love that though. But now you have you have a gauge, right? You understand? Okay, cool. Like man, you know that you can bounce back. You know what you have to do. Uh, it's like I don't know. I see it as having this board with buttons and levers in front of me, and I can you know pull a lever and push this yeah. button, feel this way. Uh, it, it's biopsychology, really. Like that's that's how it totally. marries. You know each other but uh, so i want to touch on this too because <clears throat> a lot of people say okay i'm gonna do it they set up a plan they have a clear intention right and they go to work and they're consistent right something happens in life they get de they derail themselves yep. with that circumstance or they say oh this happened and that knocked me off track no you fucker you got off track nothing yeah. did anything to yeah. you you decided to get off track with that circumstance yep. ultimate responsibility no victims here right so but my point is this <laughs> So I was super consistent for several weeks in my practice, in my eating, and in, in everything. And then I went to that crypto conference with real estate. I gave myself permission to get off track because I was also getting kind of bored. Yeah. I mean, honestly. And if I'm going out of town, that was my first time ever to Miami. What's in Miami? Cuban food, Peruvian. And I'm like, I'm going to sample all the things. <laughs> like, I'm going <laughs> to do this, right? Because like, yeah. I want to have an experience, too. Yeah. It's not about being a damn robot. You yeah, know it's I mean? counterbalance. We're here to it's, live and experience. It's a habit, too. man. You build yeah. it. You build it into a lifestyle. I think. I think that's important, and I think that's where where a lot of the uh, the 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 fails you know happen, right? Uh, I'm gonna make it a thing this month. I'm gonna make it a thing this month. I'm I'm hitting 300 pounds. I gotta drop, you know, you know, I'm hitting I don't know 200 pounds, whatever. I gotta drop 50 pounds, and then that happens, and then you let go of that. Uh, it, it, you treat it as a goal, but in, when it comes to to health it's not a goal i don't think it's a goal it's an ongoing process it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle yeah yep yeah it's a way of being yeah. and so but the cool thing about it is <clears throat> i love getting off track especially if it's intentional like when we go to rocky point like yeah. i'm going off the rails baby yeah. there's i, I want to have that experience bro but you here's, eat like a madman yeah totally well it's yeah. good food i love ceviche yeah. chips and guac i mean come on who doesn't yeah. right yeah. okay so you know it has some octopus to back yep. friend jason yep. um <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> sorry guys they got really sick. But yeah. anyways, Montezuma's Revenge. My point is this. So I, I flew in. I got in at uh, Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Immediately drove to grocery store, got all my stuff from meal prepping. Yeah. I juice. Like, I, I love juicing. It, it's just high vibrational. And when nutrients. you say juicy, you're not talking roids. You're talking juice. juice I'm like talking green like juice. fruits, vegetables. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, it's a totally. health topic, so it's a legit question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, not <clears throat> the other kind of juicing. Um, <laughs> I'm... I'm uh, go ahead. But so it's like, okay, now I'm, I looked at my week. What are my appointments as far as evenings? Like, for, exa for example, I date my kids. 
I take my kids out on one-on-one -on -one dates. You know what I mean? I think that's yeah. so important to, to maintain the relationship, give them a safe space one-on-one -on -one where they feel they're getting quality attention and so forth. It's yep. important to me. It's important to my kids. So, okay, what dates date night with my kid, you know, and, and what are my other obligations or uh, business mixers, things that I'm going to in the evening. I'm not meal prepping for those evenings. I'm going to eat there. So I give myself that permission. But my point is, it's so easy to get back on track. All you got to do is decide. Right. Like have a clear intention with that. And so yesterday, mm -hmm. I meal prepped, I juiced. I'm already on it last night and today because today is Monday. <coughs> and it's like, cool. I feel so good that I'm back on track. But I also gave myself permission to go off the rails and experience something new and different because it, there's that delicate balance. It's yeah. a dance. Yeah, 100%, man. And I think it is, it is, it's a dance, right? It's a dance between, you know, joyfulness, what space do you love to be in? For example, I, I know a lot of people who compete, especially at the gym where I go to, Muscle Topia, shout out. I mean, these guys are fucking awesome. Um, Ivan and Rod and uh, Karen over there. Uh, but uh, they're, I mean, they go hard and they go heavy, hardcore. I mean, you have a lot of people who walk in and like so rigid and, and, and strict. And he probably, I hope he's not listening to this podcast right now. <laughs> it's going to kill me. Uh, like, you've been eating what? Um, <laughs> but, um, you've been cheating. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but, but it's, it's, uh, it's important to have, right? That, you know, that uh, dedication, not necessarily to the gym or the workout or, or the extremes of it, but dedication to the self. Um, that love, that self-love, it plays right into it. Uh, you know, it's self-love, it's self-care. You know, care. When you have that stuff as a priority, uh, again, going back to the, the uh, you know, what we were talking about earlier, it's you have that as a priority, things around you turn out better, oh, right? Absolutely. Your energy is just, I mean, it, it really comes down to that. Um, I want to, before we, we start signing off, I want to, uh, this is for the guys, it's not going to be politically correct for the ladies, right? But... <clears throat> I think it's important because it makes perfect sense. Every time I, I want to do a self-assessment and check how I'm doing at a healthy level, like health, not healthy, but a health level. Yeah. All right. So I forgot English there for a little bit. So <laughs> just so, say Spanish. Yeah. So if, if I want to do a health check, uh, oh, there you go. That's uh, this is this is what I think about. Right. And this is uh, coming back from uh, uh, one of my one of my um, old mentors, uh, Dr. David Brown. Uh, the guy is a doctor in, in fitness and health. Like the guy, you know, he's the guy's a beast. He's built like a boulder. Um, and, you know, it's this thing. He goes uh, one time he told me, like, whenever you want to check to see if you're doing OK, there's three things in men. This is men. Right. Um, I don't know. I guess it would translate to women as well, but I'm not 100 percent sure because he said it for men. So I'm going to keep it in that context. Uh, but we look for three things. The, 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 the trifecta. It's the three H's. All right. Uh, if we are hungry, if we are happy, and if we're horny, <laughs> you know, we, we're in the right track, right? Mm -hmm. Your levels at an internal, you know, uh, level are, you know, they're, they're okay. Um, your testosterone levels, sure. your, you know, your Libido. energy levels, exactly. If one of those uh, is missing, you ask yourself why. You know, why? Why is it happening? Is it because there's systems no... Systems out of balance. Yeah, systems out of balance. So it's it's a quick little check, right, to just kind of keep... How much time do we have? In, we can we can roll we can roll i mean i'm not going okay because yeah. since you brought that up and we're going to go there i want to go there go there a minute. so bro go there i mean if if you're <clears> an entrepreneur <throat> and you're watching this i'm hoping that you've read um think and grow rich by napoleon hill yeah. what's one of the chapters in there sexual transmutation oh yeah and that's what he talks about like yeah. most men don't become really successful until like after 40 yeah. Because that need to go out and hunt females and so forth has subsided a bit. Right. But that doesn't mean testosterone levels have gone down. Like, I know some guys that are taking testosterone that are even younger than me. I mean, I just turned 40. I'll be 41 yeah. this year, right? You don't and look I'm like, get that stuff 50. away from me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need any of that stuff, right? I'm trying yeah. to hamper this. But my point is this, especially for men, but women have sexual drive too. The key is, and as you stated in that, in Think and Grow Rich, is sexual transmutation how do you take that energy that deep reservoir that you yeah. have and pull it up and transmute that into energy <clears throat> pull that up and transmute that into consciousness right you can utilize that energy and it doesn't take away from anything right it's just sitting there untapped undealt with joe dispenza has a pineal gland breathing exercise where it's a certain process and you pull that energy up right into the pineal gland and man i'm telling you the level of consciousness i do that breathing exercise every single day monday through friday yeah and just a level of clarity it doesn't take away from from libido none of that stuff but it's just 
untapped reservoir of energy that you have that you can pull up and transmute into consciousness. And one other thing before I forget, because I forgot twice already, in talking about this, you know, we were talking about kind of a morning type thing. What do you do to prime your state? Right. But here's the other thing. Like, I remember I used to use alcohol as a way to, at night, to check out, to numb out, to turn off the brain right. so I could go to sleep. And I think a lot of people suffer from insomnia, things of that nature. Why? Because the mind won't stop. Yeah. But you're not your mind. So what's your evening ritual? What's What do you do for yourself to resource you to have some peaceful rest at night? Because if you want sleep, it takes peace, right? Yeah. So like, what about some meditation at night? What about some journaling? What about brain dumping? Getting all those thoughts and <coughs> ideas and emotions out from thought into a tangible thing onto paper. And then a meditation to just quiet, bring everything back to a healthy, balanced state of being that's at peace. Yeah, I, it's um, on the money, man. It, one thing that I was uh, I was talking to one of my other mentors, one of my other coaches, um, Al, and this was about a, maybe about a month and a half ago, um, two months ago, and my 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 mind is always going boom, 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 and I wake up and I do my thing in the morning, right? But throughout the day, I feel like in, instead of just going down in terms of mental activity, it just it keeps going up, 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 up. So I get, you know, 7, 8 p.m. at night, and my mind is still, like, going 1,000 miles an hour. I'm just thinking of different projects and, and you know, purpose and, you know, whatever you want to throw in there. And and it's it, it, bec- it becomes hard to shut it, you know, shut it or dial it down. Sure. You know, dial it down. Um, and... Um, and one of the things that we threw in there was an afternoon meditation. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, you're doing your morning, but I mean, you you really need to come back to to you throughout the day, uh, and you still manage and control the you know the emotional pace of the day, uh, as opposed to it controlling yourself. And that's I mean, and totally. it's not a it's not a big thing. I mean, I, I really come in and then do five minutes, ten minutes, something like that, and just yeah, quiet you need a breathing. Two-hour meditation, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have to be. And, and I think this is this is one of the fallacies, right? A, a lot of people when when we start talking health, when you start talking meditation, when we start talking, you know, uh, things that are not necessarily in the on the on the mainstream um the uh, the idea that they're difficult uh, mm. can be going hand in hand with them and and it doesn't have to be difficult like for example right now you're talking about pineal glands and all kinds of stuff right that stemmed from you um doing a better diet at one point yes you evolved to the point where you're at right you start pulling on threads and then you you know, years of, of growth and 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 conscious awareness of becoming better and being better um led you to that space but it, it's you don't have to learn everything no. as as you're trying to get better right so if you haven't d- taken any steps for your health uh, again your health is your wealth uh, mental health and physical health. If you haven't taken any steps, just take the first one. If that means walking yeah. around the neighborhood, you Absolutely. know, once, Absolutely. Uh, you know, sweating a little bit, I mean, something, just something. You know, when, when I started, I had two dumbbells, and um, so I would do a couple little lifts with that, and I would um, run around the neighborhood, and then I upped it to two miles, and I used to run two miles a day. And for health, um, I didn't really know what to do, but I figured yeah. let me have a lean protein, let me have a veggie, and let me have a healthy carb, you know, a sweet potato, some rice, yeah. something like that. And like, let me just play with the portion size so that I'm full, but not over full, yeah. and I'm not hungry. Like, just start where you are. And if you've got the funds, hire a coach. Yeah. If you don't have the funds, or you do have the funds, go on YouTube. Just start researching. Just start investing into you because you matter. And if you don't take care of you, ain't nobody else going to fucking do it for you. Yeah. And so just start where you are and build brick by brick by brick over a long period of time. You know, it, it doesn't take you a long period of time. You can get this dialed in pretty quick. And yeah. then, you know, again, like you said, Raph, do- just start experimenting one shift i mean one shift at a time you don't, you don't have to go you know from eating the way you're eating right now or your habits to to starving yourself no uh, diets no. diets don't work i mean why no. because there's always a rebound so you may get you know uh, relatively far with it and get some results but if you don't build the habit uh, it all comes back to again that persistency of that consistency if you don't build that and you put that into place and practice you're going to bounce back inevitably totally. so and, and speaking of consistency and all that i, I want to bring one thing because this is a really pet peeve of mine when people are consistent yeah and then they say okay i'm going to have a cheat meal a week yeah change your change your perspective on that your internal representation to it because when you think about you're having a cheat meal how do you really feel a little dirty yeah. shameful guilty why don't you change your definition that it's a treat meal like you're giving yourself a reward so there's two ways to lead yourself yeah. or anybody else dangle the carrot 
or with the stick. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it, why don't you dangle the yeah. carrot? Like, hey, at the end of the week, Saturday, when I when it's just me and the <clears throat> kids and my honey, we're going to have pizza. It's not a cheat meal. It's a treat meal. It's a reward. Yeah. You know, something to look forward to. Um, one thing that I started doing, too, and, and I did this intentionally. Um, was to I started blabbering about doing a competition in July, right? I started telling everybody, everybody, uh, like anybody line, who baby. anybody who listened, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do a competition in July. Uh, this started in January. I have a lot of shit going on, a lot of stuff right now. I'm, I'm taking a, a, a couple of pivots, big pivots in business. Uh, I'm still running the other three companies, and and you know I'm still being the CEO. Mm-hmm. So all of that is going is going on. If I don't put myself, and this this is just me how I deal with it. I mean, people out there may resonate with it or, or not, but uh, you know, putting your el- putting your ass in the line of fire, you know, it works, right? Totally. So I started doing this, and and next thing you know, like when's the competition? Now I have you know a few people that ask me on a regular basis. Says, how are you doing? And I think about that. Accountability. Uh, yeah, I think when I don't feel like you know working out or you know doing the work, you know doing the work, right? Um, it, it's accountability. It's a way for me to stay accountable, not yeah. to not to somebody else, you know, at an individual level, but to myself, right? To what you said you were going to do. Yeah, I made yeah. a promise in here, right? Mm. When you just leave that promise in there, it takes a lot more willpower <laughs> than when you put it out and then you have you know friends. Who are going to be, you know, reminding, just, yeah, you. reminding you, and then you know, giving you shit if you don't, you know, yeah. pull through. But I love what you said about that because that's a that's a very distinct difference. Is you're not accountable to them. Yeah, they're reminding it's you still, what you still said you you said you were going to do. Exactly. You're accountable to yourself. And exactly. They're just beautiful little uh, examples yeah. to remind you of. Oh yeah, hey, you put your name <clears> on this <throat> thing. You said you're going to do it. So right. how are you doing with it? Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And anyways, it, it's. Um, it's it's another it's another way to do it right or way of doing it like you said there's many different ways uh, for me that was one of them I knew that if I didn't do that at the beginning of the year where I uh, where I put uh, where I put a date on something that I want to hit mid year mm-hmm. um, I mean I would oh you know what I, I would keep it not necessarily a bad thing but I would not progress I would not and I want to keep moving forward yeah. in terms of health you know what I mean absolutely well you know I see a lot of memes like so. on Instagram Facebook and stuff and they say don't tell people your goals don't tell people what you're doing hustle and grind in <clears> silence <throat> and I'm like that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard <laughs> when I have like, like I'm I'm starting several new businesses and they're, they're some are branches to, to Libertas and so forth to, to create this whole ecosystem yeah. like a symbiotic ecosystem right um within the business and i think it's so intelligent and and fun and exciting but it's like it's scary shit i'm going into territories i have no idea what i'm doing yeah but i get to go learn and i get to start and i get to just uh, let this beautiful process unfold yeah. so i'm telling everybody about it you know what i mean because yeah. it's like then they're gonna say hey how's that going yeah and be like shit here's where i'm at yeah like thanks for the check-in thanks for the accountability you know what i'm saying like <clears> i tell <throat> everybody everything i'm doing because i know it's going to come back around they're going to ask how's that going well we we talk and about I, I, if I put my name on it, it's a done fucking deal. Yeah. You can take it to the bank. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it's uh, the last guy to you know get off the treadmill, right? Kind of, you know, type of deal. Um, it's um, again, we talk about manifestation all the time, it, and nothing's gonna manifest if you don't put it out there. Like, totally. it, it, I mean, you just keep it's it really, a, yeah. A so take it from whatever angle you want to take it. If it's a, a accountability angle, manifestation angle, this law of uh, you know. Uh, uh, the secret, uh, the law of attraction. Uh, it, it doesn't matter how you you uh, contextualize it, right? At the end of the day, if if you're putting some something outside of your brain, you're bringing it from your mind to the physical space. Yeah. Like there's something that's gonna you know manifest ah, there. Totally. So, yeah, yeah man, um, I love it. Just kind of sum up. Um, intermittent fasting is a really easy thing to do. Uh, sweating. At least you know coming in and breaking a sweat once a day. Yep. Meditation uh, is huge. Critical. It doesn't take uh, you know too much to start putting yourself um, in a in a state of prior or prioritizing your yourself and your health and your mental well being uh, to start doing stuff. Yeah. Well, right? again, your health is your truest wealth. Yeah. Because I don't care how much money you make, if you've got no health, you ain't gonna have any beingness to go spend that damn money or to give it away or do anything productive in this world and contribute back to humanity. And so, if, in order to increase your health. You're going to have to make you a priority and invest in you so that you can bring that biggest and best version of you forward to your friends, to your family, to your loved ones, to your clients, to the world. So. Boom. And guys, hungry, happy, and horny. All right? That's that's your dashboard. Hungry, happy, and horny. New mantra. And again, I don't you know, can, if, I don't know if it works for women. Yeah. You know I mean? Triple H. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Remember that Triple H? H to the third power. Yeah, yeah. H to the third power. Yeah. All right. So, uh, awesome. all right. That was good, man. Yeah. I liked it. All right. So... 
Justin, where can, find, uh, where can somebody find you if they want to? JustinThorstad.com or my cell number, 602-348-8534. Savage. All right, and you can find me everywhere. YouTube, uh, Rafael Cortez, CEO, social media, Rafael Cortez, CEO. Any, any taqueria? Any, any taco stand, <laughs> um, foodie dives with protein, uh, food in them, I'll be there. So uh, thank you, fam. Love you. Thanks, Stay everybody. focused. You got this. Boom! <laughs>